Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Now you may not be able to see me as good as I'd like for you to, but right now I'm on the ladder. Uh, these ladder holders that I made a month or so back, somebody mentioned that that rope is going to be a tripping hazard. And they're right, it will be. So, I'm going to fix it. Get it off here, I got to wrap it around my waist. Anyway, sorry about the noise. I'm gonna use a chain on each side to take place of the rope. So what I'm gonna do is I'll fix it where I can either wrap the chain one time or two times. And it'll be, I don't know how long it'll be. Uh, I've got to wrap it around there first. And I got me a bigger clip. Instead of this clip was too small, so I got one like this. It'll hold, that says 250 pounds. So, I mean, it won't have any weight on it, but this one here clips on and off there. But anyway, when I get through, because it's going to make so much noise, when I get through drilling my holes and uh, bolting the first one on, I'll come back and show you what I'm talking about. Be back in a minute. Bye. All right, now that's what I've come up with, and I think it'll do work. It'll work. Keep that ladder from coming off, and I uh, can't make a chain any shorter than that. I didn't try it, so. But I only need one on one side, really, because it's mostly just to keep them side going side to side. So that should do that. All right, and then I'll take my tool back into the shop. Lay this ladder back down and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, as you see, I'm back in the shed. And uh, now I'm gonna show you what I did. This is the this is the ladder holder, and this is to keep the ladder from going from side to side, that's all. Now with a chain on it, it will also keep it from coming back. So I just took, that's a, I call it a swing chain. Put that on there. Put your good washer on it. And I use this hole right here. Well, I had a lot of washer. Well, this is just to show you. I'll go back and put a lock washer on here in a little while. Alright. Now I made the other one different. Got I changed it. I had it on the front at first. But I realized it, it was making it too hard to uh, uh, to hook the chain into. So I'm going through the side right here. Maybe time for a new grill bit. I do it. They do not want to hold on to grill bits or anything. All right. Let's see if 
if I've got it. I don't think I have. Nope. I've been looking back. Now, now this ain't, ain't where it's supposed to go, but anyway, all I got to do now is just hook it up, wrap it around the leg of the chain, the leg of the ladder, and hook it up. Of course, it'll be longer than that. And, uh, but anyway, that'll spot up. Uh, Fix that trip hazard on that ladder. I'm going to move that right like that. Get <clears throat> back up here. This one here goes on the shop. And the size of the size uh, spring link is what it's called. I always call it a carabiner, but it's a little bit different than a carabiner. It's a 3 8 by 3 and a half. Save that one. I don't throw them away. That should take care of those problems. I hope everybody's doing all right. Uh, I may not be do may, might not be doing too much more work. Uh, yesterday I went down and picked up uh, bolts and uh, I mean uh, belts and Picked up belts and oh, what do you call it? Oil filter for that uh, little uh, red lawnmower that I got last year, and was told it. After the day, they won't be selling anymore. They won't be open anymore. So, I think that's their way of telling me I won't be able to get parts anymore. So, I had to turn down a, a uh, They wouldn't have gotten here until uh, around the 28th of May. So, uh, customer said, never mind. Uh, the only thing I know to do is to go down and buy another lawnmower. Like people can't afford to do that. Uh, Oh yeah, a little uh, 
tidbit I want to tell you. I know I'm pretty sure some of you have already thought about that. You know, you got these open ends on your air, air lines. Now down here in the south, we have them in Tennessee too, when I was a kid. Mud daubers, or what, that's what we call them. Or black wasp, or whatever you call them. If they find a hole like that, they build it. So take you an air, air valve cover, slip right over the end of it, it comes right back off real easy. Also keep the dust out of your tools. Okay, right there. Now, I've been doing that for years, but I never thought about telling anybody about it. But I ain't got enough to eat. <laughs> I'm thinking to call it quits. I've been out here quite a while. I cleaned up the shop. I washed up some uh, oil can, I mean gas cans that I had. Uh, I'm going to let them dry and then tomorrow I'm going to go down and fill them up with gas in case I need it. Won't be long they'll be closing the gas, uh, the uh, uh, service stations. We got one service station here that sells raw gas. Then, uh, I can put stable in it and uh, it should last at least three months. That's it for the day, folks. I haven't done anything else. I ain't got anything else to do. I, I need to wreck my yard, but my shoulder's bad and won't do it. I was going to hire a neighborhood friend of mine to help me, and he doesn't want to leave the house. So, and my tripod, one of the legs on it, come apart. They'll work on it. Try to try to fix it. But anyway, it's a good little short video for today. And maybe I'll see y'all in a week or so. Or when I get some work. May get on here just to holler at you. See what all you're up to. But anyway, y'all stay safe. And uh, stay healthy. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye everybody.